Let's turn my messy, overwhelmed, frustrated makeup room into this beautiful, spacious makeup room that I can enjoy and sit there all day long. Let me give you guys a tour before I do this makeup room. When I first started influencing, I spent money on unnecessary things, which I didn't need. All these frames on the wall, all these little decoration cabins that I made, all of them were unnecessary because for an influencer, you receive a lot of products, you need a lot of storage. Especially if you're a makeup influencer, you will be receiving boxes and you need a place. Look how I made everything overwhelmed. All my clothes are everywhere. All my boxes are everywhere. I have no place to put things. They're just messed up. Seriously, it can get frustrating, overwhelming mentally. You will not be in the right side of mind. It's really nice to change around things every few years. I spend most of my day in this room recording video for you guys, coming up with ideas. It has to give me a good vibe. I probably spend more money on these things than I am going to spend today. I'm going to show you guys how much I'm going to spend on Ikea stuff. And I'm going to put this whole room into a beautiful makeup room with lights, which I can walk every day inside this room and say, you know what? This is my makeup room. Let me enjoy my coffee and let's get to work. But it could be just your personal room, personal makeup room, closet. Do whatever you want to do. Enjoy there. So let me walk you guys through. First, you're going to come on Google and type IKEA design. This should come up. This one is IKEA kitchen planner. You're going to click on this. And then you're going to come right on design and planning and then click storage planner. And then here where you choose which one you want. So I went with packs personalized wardrobe planner you can do a guide me or you can do create your own so i went and create my own i know what i was doing let's just create from start this is the room design that you can choose what size is your room you can go height width and depth like you can just literally choose this and it's gonna create the room for you so as you guys can see my balance is zero because i don't have anything here so this is basically the room that i sized up too so you can literally do a measurement like what size is your room which corner you want to put in so let's do the frames first so i got three there's three options this one is a 19 inch 29 inch and this is a 39 inch wide so i got three of these actually okay go back a little bit there there you go and then this one next to it really easy to plan this out and the height is 93 for my room and 118 barely fits so this is perfect because i have a little bit more space here for my alexa jar which is not part of this order i already had that from before so alexa drawers like are the size so mine goes up to here so let's remove this for now so now we're gonna go so mine is white so you can choose other colors if you want now if you want to put doors you can go put doors but i didn't put any doors so let's skip this handles um so you're gonna come to interior next and then you're gonna go to interior list instead of the layout so what i did i put first i came to the drawers there's few different kind of drawers so the one i went with is this one 55 dollars and it has a glass so it's really nice on this side this one is pretty much the same thing but it has uh, like a frame around it and this one is completely wood and this one is with different designs so i went with this one glass and it's kind of cheaper too it's 55 dollars so i put this starting from here all the way here so put one two three four five six. total of 15 drawers 14 glass three wood so the last ones in the bottoms are actually the plain one which is this one yes so the next step is to add either glass on top of these depending on what you're doing or you can put a board so this is a shelf and this is a uh, pull out uh, tray so i actually chose this one because i have jewelries and um things that i like to put you can adjust these the way you want to now on top of this i put one more of the set but it's just yes and then this just depends what you want to do look how nice it looks and then now i want to put one more of these shelves so i need three of these I'm over here and then again i want to put the jewelry stuff and then here as well now we're going to add glass uh, the glass is basically going to make it look pretty when looking from the top so i want to add the glass shelf so one goes right here now i have glass on top of these shelves so whatever jewelry i'm gonna put right here is gonna look super nice now i'm gonna go ahead and add more shelves to the top because for the decoration and stuff let me adjust this one really quick so i'm gonna add three glass shelves 
and then again i added six pull-out trays and six glass shelf so you can adjust these however you want but i just keep it like this for now so i or like this is this is what it is like that's all i did so so far our budget i mean our account hit this much but if you think you can find something cheaper uh design your uh makeup room and add other things or just do one or two i mean you could do that but this is what i want to do um i wanted to do glass and like go for my jewelry so you don't need it if you don't have a lot of jewelry so you don't need all the shelf you can just get like one shelf depending on what you need you know it's all about your need and then like little things those little like it comes in the end when you finalize this it's gonna tell you like these things tell you if you want that um you're gonna need that because it's gonna look really bad with the holes so you're gonna need it as after you finish uh, all putting this together you're gonna need this little things to cover the holes so they have uh no cover holes or cover holes so just get it 17 dollars it's worth it it comes like 100 or more yeah that's all it is so now you just go ahead and place your order uh with your address and everything and let's just go so what i did i placed this order it took me two days to empty out my room i did express shipping so then we delivered it to my house so here's day one i'm just removing and emptying out this room it's best to take all your stuff in a room where there's space that you are not walking around because when the boxes come from ikea they're gonna be huge so you're gonna need a lot of space to put them together my garage is empty so might as well i put everything in the garage for now i have a baby helper right there she's actually getting everything off of my drawers and putting them on the floor not even taking them to the garage with me a lot of these on my wall i probably bought them from outside or i made them like those candles i spent hours making them for nothing and all these those drawers that i'm taking off or the shelves all of them i built them from home depot and lowe's i brought the stuff cut them and put them together how lame i could have spent my time on creating content for the past two years instead of doing all of this but what's done is done we can't change the past we can always look forward to the future and that's why i'm here sharing this with you guys so you guys don't make these kind of mistakes don't spend so much money and time on things that are not important the baby is having the time of her life she's literally enjoying everything she's getting everything out looking around for things and opening each door being curious what are these stuff the best thing about this room that i have such a nice view from the window and such a nice light and i have it covered i don't know why so make sure don't do that kind of mistake don't cover such a beautiful natural lighting as my brother-in-law is helping me here to remove this big billboard that i put up there and look at the baby the baby's literally going on the stairs until we saw her she's like i'm gonna get up there and help too it literally looked like it was nighttime but it's the same day same time just a little hours ahead that's because the window is open and you guys can see the night natural lighting how pretty and light this room looks i have recorded on every side of this room every year i change around things this whole thing would have took me only one day or less but i had some families over and also there was a lot going on so i took every day like one to two hours and removed everything as you guys can see this is the second day that we started and i'm removing that backdrop that i had it for years which i didn't really need it i don't know why i had it talk about spending time and money i'm really good at that which is a very very bad habit you don't need to do that that's why i'm here to teach you guys no need to spend money and and time on unnecessary things and making holes on the wall for nothing the one thing that i invested money on and i'm very proud of are my lights and my alexa drawers by the way guys this beautiful woman that's helping me here she's my mom all my alexa drawers are lining up on the other side we're stocking them on top of each other over here for more storage whenever i'm making changes in my makeup room or my house she's always down here and helping me the vanity mirror that i had i decided to put it on top of these alexa drawers just for decoration just trust the process everything gonna come out really nice promise you the desk where i normally sit in front and record my videos i'm gonna put it in front of the window just for now i'm testing out some lights to see what works the best for recording and maybe change around things later when my ikea stuff comes so me and my mom went through all my wigs and i threw some of them and kept some of them and i put them nicely behind the door using a shoe rack and all the loose extension i put them in the bags labeled them and put them in the alexa drawer which i'm gonna show you guys later here the baby's back so we start cleaning up and she's doing again the same thing getting everything off of the drawers i'd rather let her do that because then someone has to go after her whenever she's in the other room so she can be in this room messing around with things and i can just fix it after cleaning this i waited one more day for the packs drawers for my Ikea. the next day the pack stores arrived and here's all the small ones and here's the cabinet itself after dinner i couldn't stop myself so i went to the makeup room and started putting these together cut off the board and the best thing is to put this together in the room where you're putting it because 
these are pretty tall cabinets it might not fit through the door and it's pretty wide too so just keep that in mind that you need to put it together in the room where you're putting this cabinet in the instruction with ikea stuff is pretty clear everything comes with it and it tells you exactly what to do it's way easier than an exam at school like trust me trust the process you'll be able to do it it's not that hard at all don't frustrate yourself just read the instruction and follow all of it i seriously think anybody can do this it's nice to have a helper so they can help you pick up the boards because it could be heavy sometimes just ask friend or family someone will help you out or if these kind of projects are not your cup of tea just have ikea give you an estimate they will send you some people it will cost anywhere around three to five hundred dollars depending on on what you have and yeah they will put it together in like one hour i love these kind of projects i like art and craft i like putting things together so i am kind of good at it too i've been doing it for years and i know anybody can do this if you just read the instruction everything is easy and you'll save a lot of money once i figured out where everything goes and then you're gonna need a drill to make everything go fast like 10 times faster make sure to get a nice set of drill with like a decent price everything comes in it the drill itself tape screwdrivers and so much other things that i don't know the name but they come in there and one day you're gonna need them i'll find you guys a nice a decent a good drill that you can use it forever i'll leave the link in the description check it out since all the cabinet looks the same as soon as you get one cabinet together everything else it's like so easy and peasy and everything goes 10 times faster than the first one that you did the best thing about this instruction it actually gives you tips and tricks the best way to put this together so it could be faster for you and easier to put them together like right now instead of facing it up i'm facing it down because it's easier to do this the instruction says that now this part i needed help because the top part to put this you need at least three people here's my husband and my mom is helping me here one hold it and the other two people like put the screws together so basically this is done now i'm flipping it so that way i can put the back of it and the back comes in this color so the white goes in the inside and the brown goes outside this part is easy just nailing the back and do you see those two Two holes right there those two holes are for cables light if you want to put in there but if you don't then just cover it it comes with a cover so you can just cover that something was in my face he's trying to remove that i'm measuring exactly the three sides of the one i made if it fits there so before making the other two i was just making sure that's gonna fit all three right here so this part is optional you don't have to do it if you don't want to screw them together so they usually come separate but i want to screw them together because i'm using them all at the same place so they are give you a screws option that you can screw things like you can put on the top the bottom the top and the bottom four places that way it can be very strong hold together so it doesn't tilt or it doesn't move around you see those things in the corner those actually will be covered you don't have to see that like i'm covering it with something at first everything's just gonna look odd but then everything has cover here's the next day i'm working on the small things now i have to put all the shelves all the glass all the drawers together in total i have 15 drawers Three of them are wood, the rest is glass. Six pull-up shelf and then six regular shelf. Putting these together can be a lot of work for one person. First, my mom was just sitting there watching TV, talking in the phone, and then she saw me that how much I'm suffering. She's like, you know what? Let me get up and help her. So I had to teach my mom how to put this together. I only showed her how to do one drawer and look at this. She became a pro. She started doing it on her own. See, if my mom can do this, you can do this. She didn't have to read the instruction. I only taught her this once and she never done this before. Before. at this point my house was a mess and my dog was just going crazy <laughs> like, what's going on in this house while my mom was finishing the rest of the drawers so i came here to fix the rest of these. these little things are like very annoying but you know it's necessary to keep the drawers steady so it doesn't come out all the little and annoying things that goes inside that goes very deep more like the engineering and the high tech stuff i was doing it i would say about six days in total that took me two days clean up the room two days put this together another two days to put all my stuff back in the room here's the room and here's those three cabinet completely done i was thinking to make my desk a little bit bigger and put a drawer inside those two alexa and put like a glass shelf over it and that's what i'm planning to do right now and i did order one extra glass shelf and one extra glass uh drawer you can buy a big desk like this but since i already had two alexa drawers and i saw someone else doing the same thing why not i can do this 
So I put this together and the glass shelf actually didn't work for me, but the glass drawer did work for me. Since I have so much heavy stuff that goes on top of my desk for recording, it actually clips on the board. So I thought the glass shelf would not hold and might break. So I removed the glass shelf and I put the original wood one. The glass drawer was definitely a good option to make because there's so much stuff that I need to put. The baby's awake and she's back. Pretty much all the hard works are done. Now the exciting part is to organize my room, organize each drawers so the first one i'm putting all the blushes i ordered these from tamu i'll put the link below and then the second video is all for the lipstick i ordered that from amazon which is so perfect i'm building like a lipstick um place where i could put all my lipstick like individually and the last one is all the containers i order for my makeup and nails and other things i love those clear containers because they look really nice behind the glass drawer and it's so perfect to keep everything organized and place i am so excited to show you guys the final look of this room it came out so nice by the way look at the middle video look how nice and neat that lipstick place came out now i know exactly which lipsticks is where and how i can easily find them i use the containers for foundation primer sprays powders like everything um i have so much space now can play around with things and then this last one i used for glasses because i have a lot of glasses look how nice and neat it looks okay quick recap this is the before how messy crowded frustrated this room looks and look at now oh my gosh the update the transformation it is so beautiful i am so obsessed with my room it gives me such a good vibe and peace whenever i come here sit drink coffee and think about work on top shelf i kept most of my big prs special prs they go over there on top i also put my youtube award youtube things on top top shelf and then the first pull-up shelf i put my glasses as you guys can see and then all the jewelries where i arranged them all the way through the cabinets all my everyday makeup that i use for the video or when i go out everything stays here organized like i put blushes powders contour primer foundation over here is mostly my concealers lip liner uh, liners mascara i kept one drawer completely strictly for eyeshadow palettes because i have so much and then one drawer all for lashes and then all of those are basically all jewelries that i use in the videos or when i go out or whatever i need them but look how neat and nice it looks and right above that is all my perfumes i literally thought i have a lot of lipstick but guess what i didn't have a lot of lipstick i did throw a lot of lipstick away because they were getting old but i kept the good ones here this next drawer is all skincare for me the things that i want to keep for later or sunscreens on daily basis, mask, everything goes there. That one is still empty and this one is all about nails. Look how nice and clean that looks. And then these are all my backdrops. And these are all traditional jewelries that I use for like special videos or special looks and stuff. And the other three drawers are mostly giveaways prs they're just storage there and this last one is all my hair tools for me this is the two alexa drawer that i was talking about in the beginning when i was ordering these are um my previous alexa drawers so i label them all for hair product hair sprays are on top and everything else for hair hair clips hair comb brushes extension bags um, rollers everything goes in this order all the way to the bottom so i dedicated this whole section for hair only and then on that section i pretty much put all my art and craft my towels cleaning towels facial towels um halloween stuff after effects and stuff hair bands paintings everything name it's gonna be there but they're all labeled so easy to find them let's move to my desk which is the exciting part the two side of this is empty there's nothing in there but the big one that i built actually has a lot of stuff all the handy things like my lip balm my remote controls my note my notebook my daily ideas and there everything that controls these slides and that basket actually has all my daily work i put on the side like for the next day what i have to do so i keep them all in that basket right there look at the view and look at the light it looks so pretty i sit right on this chair enjoy this view drink my coffee come up with idea and i get to work it gives me such a peace and good vibe i can't believe i put a whole room together and i hope this video helps you to put your room together i am so excited for my room and i hope this video helped you guys and if it did give your girl a big thumbs up and if you're new to my channel subscribe because i'll be posting more of these kind of videos and if you have any questions leave it in the comment or if you want me to give you an in-depth video about all the equipments that i use in my makeup room and you would like to 
get more information on that let me know in the comments i will make a dedicated video towards those again thank you so much i will see you guys in my next video bye